Welcome to part three of this five part video series looking at creating Revit models from point cloud data. In this part, I'll be demonstrating how we can set up coordinates and levels for the point cloud. So we're now going to look at how to assign coordinates to our project. Let's see how this works. I'm going to delete the point cloud from Revit by just selecting it and hitting the delete key on the keyboard. I want to be able to specify my coordinates at a point close to the origin in Revit by typing or copying in the values. Revit's internal origin point is not visible by default. It can be made visible in the visibility graphics panel, but for this tutorial, we do not need to see the origin point. It's good practice to model close to the default position of the elevation marker on the plan views. So let's assume that I already have coordinates for the project, which will become our shared coordinates. In most cases, these coordinates are set in the surveyor's CAD drawings and can also be set for the point cloud. The other thing that we need to know is that Revit provides two objects to identify origin or shared coordinate points. The base point is represented by the blue circle and the survey point is represented by the blue triangle. If you cannot see them, go to the View tab, Visibility slash Graphics Overrides dialog box, or type VG on the keyboard. Select the Model Categories tab, expand the Site category, and make sure that the Project Base Point, PBP, and the Survey Point, SP, are checked. The PBP, or Project Base Point, defines the XYZ of the project. The survey point is the point that will be coordinated to real geospatial coordinates. It is not recommended to move this point. If you do need to move it, you must know why. In most cases, there's no need to move this point in Revit. Now I can move the project base point by selecting it and dragging it, or by using the move tool to a new location. As you can see, the values are changing as I drag it. The relationship between these points is that the project base point, represented by the blue circle, records the coordinates of the project in relation to the survey point, which is represented by the blue triangle. For this demonstration, I've captured a point XYZ from the point cloud. This coordinate is taken from the corner of the building in AutoCAD and is in meters. We're going to use this as the Revit project's base point. My coordinates are in meters, so I'm going to make sure that my Revit model is also set to meters. To do this, I'm going to go to the Manage tab and under the setting panel, I'm going to choose Project Units. And here I can change the units of my project. I'm going to click on that and here I can choose a unit. I'm also going to check my rounding. I want the rounding to have two decimal places and now I'll click OK. Now I know that my units are set, I will bring back my coordinate and copy and paste it to the project base point. But before I do that, I want to be able to move my project base point, the blue circle, back to 000. So to do this, I'm going to click on the project base point, and change the values by typing 0 into each box. Now my project base point is back to the default location. Next, I can copy and paste my coordinates. Now we should note that what we're doing here is one method of setting up coordinates in Revit, and that there are actually other methods not covered in this tutorial. To specify coordinate at point, I'm going to go to the Manage tab, and under Project Location Panel and Coordinates, I'm going to choose Specify Coordinates at Point. And I'm now going to click the blue circle. So a window will appear which allows me to type or copy and paste in the coordinates. So I'm going to copy and paste those in and then click OK. Let's see what's happened here. The survey point has moved and the project base point remains in the same location. If I zoom extents we can see the survey point. I'm going to zoom back to the project base point. When I clicked on the project base point, I see the value that I copied in, whilst the survey point remains at 000. 
The coordinate is now set up. Next I want to import my point cloud again, and when I do so using the shared coordinates for positioning, I expect the corner point of the building that I've used to sit at the project base point. So I go back to the insert tab, choose point cloud, and select my RCS file, and for positioning I'm going to use by shared coordinates. Now a quick little bit of explanation on the positioning. If we use centre to centre as we did in part two of this tutorial, Revit places the centre of the point cloud bounding box to the centre of the model bounding box. If we use origin to origin, Revit will place the point cloud to Revit's world coordinate system in applications like AutoCAD. The origin in Revit is also known as the project internal points, which is the Revit world coordinate system. This point can be made visible in the visibility graphics panel that we looked at earlier. We should note that by default, if we have not specified our coordinates when we, use, when we link the point cloud using origin to origin or shared coordinates, Revit will place the point cloud for both options at the same location. And when we use shared coordinates, Revit assumes that the coordinates in the point cloud file are specified in the shared coordinate systems used in the model. This is what we've done. So therefore we're going to use shared coordinates. So I will click open. With the method used here, we have taken care of this warning that's popped up. So I'm just going to click yes. Now I can see my point cloud placed where I expected it to be. I can see my project base point at the corner of the building where I took my coordinate from. To further verify that the point cloud is in the correct position, I'm going to cut a section through to clearly see the corner of the building where I took my coordinate. So we'll just cut the section like so, get a bit thinner and go to view. And it's that corner of the column there. I'm just going to reveal my base point in this view. So I'm going to go to view, visibility and graphics. And then search down for site and we're going to tick project base point and OK. And let's check if our point cloud is placed at the right level. We can do this in either the elevation or section view. Since I'm already in a section view I'll do it here. The elevation that we specified at the corner of the column is 7.0355. The level zero we can see here is reading zero, zero, zero. This is the project base level. I can change the level reading and display the actual level in relation to the survey point, which should be 7.0355 or 7.04 to two decimal places. To do so, I'm going to click on the level line and in the property palette, I'm going to click edit type and change the elevation base point from project base point to survey point and click OK. Now we can see that the level 0 has changed to 7.04. We can then continue to add more levels as we want. I'm going to add a couple of levels here. And the levels are all displaying survey levels. And if we swap back into the 3D view, Now we can see that the base point is at the corner of the column as we expect. And now that the coordinates of our project are set up, we are ready to start modelling. Join us in part 4, where we will look at some commands and tools in Revit that will help us manage the point cloud inside Revit and make modelling easier. This concludes part 3 of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe.